Hey, what's up YouTube universe? This is Jake. Welcome to Tech Kitchen. So today I wanna to talk about which audio interface I think you should buy in 2018. So, you know, interfaces, they're kinda of like cars, right? Every single year there's a new model that's a little bit bigger and better than the previous model. So, gonna be a lot of selections to choose from, but I really wanna gear this video towards two different types of people out there. One is the budget conscious consumer, somebody that doesn't have a whole lot of money to spend but wants to get the best bang for their buck. And two, somebody that has that money to spend and is looking for a great all around interface to get premium converters, premium quality, and just premium all the way around. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get into the video and see what I chose. Okay, so let's get this video going. So for my budget pick, I am gonna go with the Audient ID4. This is a great little USB powered box. You don't even need to plug it into the wall, just connect to your computer and you're good to go. If all you need is a microphone, a set of monitors, and a set of headphones, this is it. I mean, it has the microphone input, 48 phantom power, of course. It's got the TRS output so that you can connect a set of monitors. It actually has two headphone outputs just in case you need that extra one and it has a DI input. But for a lot of people I know, they track hip hop music, they're never gonna need more than one input. And for only $200, I really believe that this is the way to go if that's all that you really need. Definitely check this box out. I really don't think that there's anything similar in the price range that's gonna be better than this. If it is, it's gonna be so minimal, it's not even worth it. Just get the box, get to making music, and get going. As far as my premium pick, I'm gonna go with the Universal Audio Apollo Twin Duo Mark II. This is a awesome box. I just heard this a couple of weeks ago at a friend's studio and I was so impressed. I went out and sold my interface and my preamp to get this. If you're not familiar with the Apollo products, basically what they do is using the two preamps that are on the interface, they're called Unison preamps. It works in conjunction with the software to emulate specific outboard gear. Things like Neve preamps or SSLT e channels, compressors, you know, all those outboard gear, those, those big budget pieces that cost thousands of dollars, well now you can get them in this interface in the form of plugins and get that sound. It may not be exact, but the emulation is so close. If you know what you're doing, you can really get that sound that you're looking for and I highly recommend this thing. It has premium converters, premium preamps. It's got a headphone output, a DI input. It's got your TRS outputs to connect your monitors. It's got line outs. It is a Thunderbolt interface and it works just flawless for me. And I really think if you have Thunderbolt and you're looking for that premium product, that this is gonna be the way to go. You have to check it out, demo these plugins. It's amazing and there's no need for me, somebody who's more geared towards YouTube videos and photography with a little bit of music on the side to go more than that. Unless you're gonna be spending thousands and thousands of dollars on outboard gear, this is the way to go in my personal opinion and I really think you should check it out. Now, one thing I do wanna mention about all interfaces today, this is 2018. Technology has come so far from when I started recording and dabbling with music. I remember starting out with a Tascam Porta Studio Mark II. It's a small box that you pop a cassette into, press record, and you can record on up to two tracks. And I mean, I'm talking, I was recording with a, probably a Shure SM58, something of that like and we were recording tracks all the time. Even after that, years later, I was recording with a Audigy Sound Blaster card and a old yellow computer with a huge CRT monitor and another SM5857 type of microphone and we were cutting albums with this stuff. It may not have sound the greatest, but the point I'm trying to make is that at the end of the day, the quality with today's interfaces are gonna be there no matter which one you choose. I think it is much more important that you get what you need to start recording and you start focusing on your mixing, you start focusing on the talent, and you start focusing on the music and instead of the gear. I myself am guilty of wasting a lot of time and money buying gear, upgrading, buying the next microphone, the next thing. Now with mics, I will say it's good to experiment and see what works for your voice, but there's no need to spend all this money on all these different 
interfaces and preamps. I mean, find what works for you, get to making the music, and go from there and just focus on the music. That's all I have to say on the subject. I really don't think you can go wrong any way you go nowadays. Just get what you need and get going. Right, well there you have it. So let me know what you think. Is there an interface out there that I should have recommended over the ones that I did? If so, let me know, drop it in the comments. Is there anything that I left out? You know, I try to get these videos done in a timely fashion, so surely there's gonna be some information I didn't cover. If so, let me know, drop it in the comment. Anything you wanna add to the conversation, let me know, drop it in the comments so that I can learn and everybody else out there can as well. As always, be sure to check the description Description below. I'm going to have links to every item featured in this video. And as always, stay tuned. Plenty of content coming your way. So again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned and have a great day.